Fiducia Supplicants, another lie of the devil for couples of the same sex. Sin is despicable because it has caused the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. He came to save us and the first thing he did was to preach repentance for the forgiveness of our sins. But we live in a world that is demanding forgiveness without repentance and prays for living in mortal sin. This is something that has caused already a schisma in the German Catholic Church. The Vatican has become a source of ambiguity, holding a malicious attitude that approves evil and leads people to continue to sin. To bless sin is the mockery of the devil, who wants to offend God, no matter what explanations to the contrary may come from high religious sources. The word of God has been rejected from the throne of the Vatican and the abomination of the desolation is present in the Church in many different forms. Many sacrileges, heresies and outrages have been committed against the truth in the present pontificate. And so, like every virus and infection, this germ of rebellion and insult to God has infected the body of the Catholic Church. Fortunately, there has been a reaction of several hundred bishops and priests throughout the world rejecting the latest insult to our faith. St. Paul tells us in Galatians 1, verse 8, But even if we, or an angel from heaven, should preach to you a gospel contrary to that which we preach to you, let him be accursed. What is your position, my dear brother or sister? The Holy Spirit is not the advocate of sin. On the contrary, it is our judge and prosecutor. The fact that some evil writings and teachings may be coming from the Vatican does not mean that we have to surrender our faith to evil. It is very easy to fall into the sin of papolatry. It's just another temptation from the devil, the master of lies trying to deceive the whole world. Couples of the same sex are being deceived into believing that a false blessing will make them right before God. This church action is corrupting the whole body of Christ. Now this is the official word of God regarding this subject. Leviticus 20 verse 13 If a man lies with a male as with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood is upon them. Jude 1 verse 7 Just as Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities, which likewise indulged in sexual immorality and pursued a natural desire, serve as an example by undergoing a punishment of eternal fire. Romans 1 verses 26 to 28 For this reason God gave them up to dishonorable passions, for their women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature, and the men likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another, men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty for their error. And since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to a debased mind to do what ought not to be done. Conclusion Should we listen to God or to the false teachings about a God who loves us unconditionally? Should we accept the truth of the Holy Scriptures or a false mercy? What is going to save us?